reason I wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad was because I knew this time was coming. And we have, as a world, I've never been here before. And so is it a spooky time? Damn yeah. it is. A, it is probably the most dangerous time ever, 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 ever. There's, there's nothing to compare it to because there's never been a world economy before. For example, you know, a hundred years ago, if there was a stock market crash in England, it didn't affect anybody. But now the U.S. market goes down, the world goes down. So plus with social media and all this we're doing now. And so we've never been here before. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm excited about it because I make more money in crashes than I do when they go up. So, but for the average person, look at my town. I'm afraid of the worst. I hope I'm wrong, but I think we're heading for a global depression. Well, let me give one, one more step just to give you the size of it, okay? The national debt for World War II was $25 billion. Every day today, every day they're printing $125 billion. Every single day, that's like five World War IIs per day, they're printing so much money to keep this book. This think of a hot air balloon with a tear in it. And they're doing desperately trying to fix this tear, but it, no matter how hard they try, the tear has gone beyond, it's coming down. So in, in financial terms, it's called our debt to deep GDP has now gone from 60 to 90 to 105, it's going to 120. We're bankrupt. And they're going to print more and more money, which means savers are losers, just as I predict. Your money is going to be worthless in a few years. So my message is the same as some of your other guests. This is metamorphosis time. Financial education in rich dad's terms is really financial transfer. And the definition of metamorphosis is very important. Metamorphosis, the definition is the evolution or the transformation from an immature form to an adult, an immature form, to an adult form. Metamorphosis is the same as a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. And Fuller always said there's nothing to predict a butterfly inside a caterpillar. So everybody listening right now, if you're struggling financially, just think of yourself as a little caterpillar. And this crisis is your cocoon. The question is, what do you emerge as? Do you emerge as a victim? You know, the world did that to me and the the capitalists are crook and the rich are bastards and all this stuff. Or do you say, oh, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. The same as my health. I am ground zero for the coronavirus. All that does is inspire me to get healthier. You're either going to get healthier and wealthier, or you're going to go bust. Your choice. It sits between your ears, your heart, your body, your mind, your spirit, your attitude. This could be the best thing that ever happened to you, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, if you turn out to a butterfly or somebody will step on you like a little worm. It's your choice. 1971, the U.S. dollar became debt. The U.S. dollar is the reserve currency of the world. I don't know if you know what that means. I'm trying to explain to you when they tell you get out of debt, that's stupid because the money is debt. And the only way money gets out of debt is via taxes. So all the people who work for money, red, rich, dead, poor, dead, what's lesson number one? Money is debt. I use debt as money. And everybody thinks getting in debt is bad. Well, who told you that? I think the stock market is for losers. Why would you put money in the stock market when it's manipulated? That's what I think about. So I'm always watching the manipulation going on behind the scenes. That's what my brain is focusing on all the time. And I don't pay taxes. Question is, how is it I don't pay taxes? I can tell you. They hypnotize people into being employees who will work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt and invest in the stock market. Until you question those sayings, those words, you'll be a poor person. Why is debt tax-free? Because that's how money is created. And so the banks love it. They love people borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money and I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. But I use debt. I borrowed 300 million after the crash dollars. In 2000, by 2010, I had borrowed $300 million to buy real estate that made me rich. And the interest rates kept coming down, so my cost of money kept coming down. 
And so everybody else is saying, oh, you should get out of debt. You know why? Because they don't question the hypnosis they're under. You've been hypnotized to work hard for money, to save it. The fractional reserve system prints it. And then oh, they pay taxes and taxes. So I, get, I have all this debt and I get rich. So the question is, how do you learn to use debt to get rich? Because they tell you not to, not to get out of debt. So all I'm saying to you is, if a person does not question what they've been taught, they will always be poor. They've been hypnotized into being poor. And the average person has been hypnotized. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, and invest in pension. And you never get your money back. The whole thing was designed to keep you poor. So that's why I argue with you, un until a person questions what's already been put in their head, and that's what my poor dad put in my head. Go to school, get a job, work hard. And that's America. Same as Romania, it's not really different. I questioned all that. Why would I save money when they print money? That's what happened in 1971 when President Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. They can print as much as they like. Then they tell you, so go to school, get a job, become an employee. You pay taxes because you're working for money. Then they tell you to save money. Do you know why they tell you to save money? Because the system of banking, York, has nothing to do with communism, capitalism. It's the banks run the world. The rich run the world. They don't care if you're communist or capitalist. So when you save, so let's say you save one dollar, you lose one euro, one yen. The banking system can lend out ten. So the entire system is called the fractional reserve system. The fractional reserve system is also printing money. And then they tell you to save money. So they, they want you to save money so they can lend out your money 10 times. So your dollar became worthless 10 times over. And then they used to pay you 10% interest on your money. Now it's at best 1%. And they're still lending it out 10 times. So that's why you don't save money is because your money is becoming worth less and less and less and less and less. The banks are getting richer and richer and richer. Then they tax you on that interest you they pay you. that one percent interest if they pay you that much japan is zero and the japanese are so stupid they still save money before we continue help us by smashing that youtube like button and subscribe now to this channel this shows the algorithm that you value the information and it helps us spread this message sharing is caring please like and subscribe now thank you and now let's continue now, if you're in trouble today, my message is not so kind. This is hard talk, not happy talk. The crisis is in your head. Now, that's the bad news. <laughs> the good news, you can change the crisis by changing what's inside your head. And so I'm doing, I hate to brag, but I'm doing extremely well financially today because as I was warning everybody, this crisis was coming. But it would be, it would be irresponsible of me to warn people of the crisis and not personally make changes myself. So right. the good news is the crisis is in your head, the bad news is in your head. The most important thing you can have right now is not job security, but meaningful work. So you and I don't need the money, but our work is meaningful. And it's our meaningful work that gets us through the hard times. So the good news is my company is sold out. We cannot keep up with product. The bad news is the supply chain shut down, but that's a good problem. We have tons of cash. I have gold, I have silver, and I do have challenges in the real estate market, but that's gonna make me stronger. That's my only attitude I can have. Otherwise, I just cry and say, well, the government should take care of me. I need a bailout, I need a stimulus. I have a friend in Panama. He has an avocado farm. So he's sitting in, Panama growing avocados, he says, because people have to eat. Another guy's friend of mine is growing blueberries. But another friend of mine, he moved up to, he was from Seattle, excuse me. He had a big house, his kids all moved out. So he converted the kids' bedrooms into one bedroom apartments. So he put a kitchen and he put a toilet inside his little bedrooms. And so he now rents out four bedrooms. He's making more money today than ever before because a lot of workers commute to Seattle. 
So they come in, they check in, they come in on Sunday night to check out Friday afternoon. So they will have to make more money. So the point is, everybody can do something, but you got to figure out what you can do. Well, the reason the rich don't work for money is number one expense is tax. See, there's three kinds of income, earned, portfolio, passive. So earned income is if I get a job, that's earned income. If I'm a doctor or a programmer, that's earned income, because I'm working. If I buy, a, if I buy let's say, Apple for $10 and I sell it for $20, that's uh, portfolio income, capital gains. But passive income, which is cash flow. So it's not, and so all these guys are screaming right now in America, tax to rich, I said, good luck, because most of the guys complaining, they don't know the three kinds of income. And the rich don't have jobs anyway. They have assets. And so the average schmo out there, poor guy, you know, sent the kid to school. They don't learn this. So that's why in fake, as you were talking about it, there's that newspaper article about Jared Kushner. And he explains how the Trumps and the Kushners don't pay taxes and make millions of dollars. And the reporter couldn't understand it because they're not... Our schools will never teach you that three types of people. Well, there's always three sides to a coin, you know, heads, tails, and the edge. You know, so which side of the coin are you on? From my side, it's fair. But this is the difference. Everybody can do the same thing I do, because the tax laws are for everybody. You know, we don't say, well, the tax laws only for the rich. No, the tax laws are for everybody to use if you have the right financial education. And the reason I'm an advocate of financial education, without that education, you'll have to pay taxes. You see, very few people will buy what I do, make a million dollars and pay zero tax. That takes, and my rich dad taught me that playing Monopoly. That's how it started, you know, four greenhouses, one red hotel, or the McDonald's one. I write about it here, McDonald's, Ray Kroc. McDonald's is in the real estate business. So they sell hamburgers, but they buy real estate, so they pay no taxes. You know, this guy Bezos, well, he's $16 billion. How much tax do they pay on that $16 billion? Well, it's not risky. I mean, to me, what's, what's risky is having a job and paying taxes and saving money because they're printing. That's the worst thing of all. And that's why there's fake money, fake teachers, and fake assets because Wall Street or the city of London or Lehman Brothers or Goldman and all, they're not going to tell you this. See, if you cannot think, I cannot help. What to do in such a situation? Inform yourself and keep your financial education strong. We from the Compact Group offer our loyal subscribers a free educational portal with first-hand monetary, financial, and economic knowledge. Enter our invite-only Insider Club by clicking the link below. You will get access to first-class information far earlier than the rest. We have prepared a special deal for all our members where you can access a giant pool of Robert Kiyosaki's financial wisdom for just $1. To find out more, simply click the link below and join our Insider Club absolutely free. But there is more you can and should do. Build up several streams of income. More and more people realize that they have to take their future in their own hands but they don't know how and where to start. We from Compact offer our Insider Club members unique opportunities. Strengthen your financial muscle and get the edge. Click the link below. Become part of our free Insider Club. No financial obligations. But there's one important thing you have to know. You have to become active. So do it now. Become active and see you on the other side.